Hi, my name is Sam, and today we're going to go over how to use color maps in Avisa. So to start out, let's open some data. So we're going to click Open Data, and we're going to go down to Tutorials, down to Chocolate Bar, and we're going to open it like so. So Avisa automatically creates an ortho slice for us and applies a grayscale color map to it. This data set is what you call a scalar image. It just has a single intensity channel going from 0 to 1,910. So with a grayscale color map, low values are turned to black, high values are turned to white, and the intermediate values are just shades of gray. So the first thing I'm going to go over is how we can change the range of the color map. So the color map goes from black at the bottom to white at the top. So if we move this up some, what it does is anything below this bottom cutoff is turned to black. So anything below the intensity value of 654 is turned to black. So if we want to make the image more white, we can move the top value down and we can see how it makes more of the values white. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a volume rendering. So Aviso automatically applies a Valorin white color map to this. And one thing that's special about the Valorin white color map is that it doesn't have a constant transparency. So at the bottom of the color map, it's fully transparent. And at the top of the color map, it's fully opaque. So this means if we adjust the color map down more, we can see that more pixels appear in the visualization because instead of those pixels being transparent, they're now less transparent, as you can see. So this is not the case with all color maps. So if we change this back to 408, but, inst but instead choose um, hot iron, we can see that hot iron has no transparency whatsoever. So all the pixels are rendered as fully opaque. So we're going to change it back to Valorant right though. And the next thing is I want to make it so we can render this data set using two different color maps with one color map chosen for the ortho slice and another one chosen for the volume rendering. So to make it so we can see the ortho slice better, we're going to change the opacity to around 0 0.05 like so. So now we can see the ortho slice on the inside, but instead of only the pixels near the bottom of the color map being transparent, now all the pixels are at least slightly transparent. So next, let's go back to the ortho slice and we're going to apply a different color map. So we're going to choose physics color map. So now let's just adjust this up a little bit. All right. So that looks good. So now we can see how we can combine two separate color maps to create a visualization. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.